I am joined by Tracy O'Hara of Merseyside Police because recently you guys launched the first Pride car of the force. Why have we got a Pride car? Uh, well, we've had the Police with Pride brand as, as sort of LGBT police networks for a lot of years now. There's so many police vehicles around the city. It, it just makes sense to have some messages on them. With hate crime being such a, a topic and being such a, a concern for a lot of people and being such an area that we need to educate people on, um, it just made sense. It's, a, it's, it's around, it's going to be out and about 24-7. It's going to be all around the city, all around Merseyside. It's going to be going to every type of crime, every type of, you know, report. Just makes sense. To just just makes sense. With, with it on, you know, we've got the community first ethos within our police that our communities come first. So I just think having a, a vehicle that people can see, people know what it means. It's got Stop Hate UK on there, so if people don't feel comfortable talking to the police, they've got another option of, of how to report things. We've got Crime Stoppers on there, which which is, you can tell people, police, anything about uh, anything that's going on in your area of concern, not just around hate crime, but around any any sort of community issue that you've uh, you want to tell us about anonymously. So it's it's just it just gets that message out. It's a subliminal message. People see it and maybe not really think about it. That vehicle was a vehicle that was due to go on the streets anyway. It was part of our vehicle fleet. So why not paint it in rainbow colours? Why not put some colour on it? Why not put some messages on it? Why not get it out there? Why not, you know, look to get people wanting to have a photograph of the police car, which whoever wants their picture taken with a exactly, police car just it. doesn't happen. Um, so, so for me, you know, let's do it. it it's, you know, the, the cost is minimal. The, you know, it, it, it looks bold and bright and it, like it's going to be expensive. It's not. It really isn't. It really is. For, and, and for the, the cost of of not marketing us as a, uh, an employer's choice or not telling people that we will deal with hate crime, that's a bigger price to pay for me than, than it is for putting some signage on a vehicle and exactly. uh, and getting that message out there. I mean, social media is massive. It'd be, it's great to see people any kind of dialogue, yeah. whatever dialogue it is, you know, people will have their thoughts on it in a great way. Some people have their thoughts in it in a not so great way. But for me, you know, let's keep that conversation going. And it's very photogenic. It very it's photogenic. a very photogenic, <laughs> it's very colourful. And, uh, and, you know, we if people want to be... Uh, you know, want to be photographed with it or whatever, then great. Thank you, Tracy O'Hara of Merseyside Police, who no didn't leave me any opportunity to ask the questions because she covered everything <laughs> in the one sentence. <laughs>